In the previous video, I talked about the definition of DevOps, what it is and why do we need it. Now we're going to talk about how do we interpret DevOps. And this is very, very important. Uh, if, you're a, if you're going to be a DevOps professional or if you want to start learning about DevOps, uh, this is a probably a most important thing to understand, right? Because that also, if when you look at DevOps or hear about DevOps or read about DevOps, it gets very, very confusing because everybody talks about different aspects. Some people say it's about culture. Some people say it's about tools, automation. Some people say it's about just principles and, you know, so on and so forth. So how do we really un understand what it is and what is relevant to you is where uh, I introduce you to this reverse elephant theory. And this is my own theory. Now, if you know about this elephant theory, um, you know, if you have, let's say, a bunch of blind people uh, who are asked to describe what an uh, elephant looks like or, you know, feels like, um, they're going to touch different parts and each of them understands it from the part they are touching let's say some say it's it's just basically a, a, a bunch of apache dumb skin uh, some look at um, the tooth some uh, you know one of that looks at the tail so they're going to describe it from their own perspective right so if you want to understand what elephant really is you'll have to bring all of this perspective together and get one big picture right uh, that's important now what i would recommend you to do with devops is you know uh, take a reverse elephant theory so instead of talking about everything and anything and it's sort of a looking at uh, the every single aspect like culture tool to uh, this and that uh, you look at the devops uh, look at devops from the perspective that is most relevant to you and i'm going to give you that perspective what you should be looking at based on who you are in your organization basically right so everybody has to look at um, in order to really codify DevOps, this is what I believe, it's important to identify your role and understand the perspective with respect to your role in the organization. Let's say if you're an executive, you're going to look at the big picture and understand what DevOps is at that level. And that's all you would care about. You don't have to learn about an automation tool set and then, you know, do some hands-on session, hands-on things on that, right? Whereas if you're a tech lead, you need to understand the principles and the practices that are part of DevOps and then start incorporating and focus on skilling people up on those tools and, you know, interpret it uh, based on your context. Whereas if you're an individual practitioner, if you're an operations guy, if you're a developer, if you're a QA, all you care about is one part of that tool or a practice that you need to skill up. It's mainly about skilling up when it comes to the individual practitioner. So now most of you who attend this program, I believe, would be the individual practitioners, in which case you just have to care about the tools. Now, you're not going to go and change the culture of your organization. You don't even have a control over that. Right. So don't worry about that. Forget about um, the cultural part. Forget about the, you know, uh, the practices and uh, all of those parts. Just focus on the automation tools which are relevant to you, which I'm going to give you a description of. Now, if you're a C-level executive, probably driving the organization, uh, you're the one who's going to be responsible for building a customer centric organization because with DevOps, you're taking actually a holistic approach. So a lot of principles that we talk about and label as DevOps are also agile principles. So you're going to take a, a holistic approach, a look at the agile practices and, uh, you know, drive those and in sort of start, you know, inculcate that DevOps culture into your organizations by, you know, making sure your people are aware of what practices, what it is, and you would be the one who would be driving those decisions at the very high level. And you need to have a belief in automation. Uh, that's very important because a lot of practices will translate to incorporating automation in your organization. So if you're a C-level executive, that's probably all you would need to know about DevOps and, uh, you know, the history of DevOps, why it is important and what it is going to help you achieve in terms of your business goals. Now, if you're a tech lead, if you are a technology leader, really, um, it's the principles of DevOps is what you should definitely know about the practices, including the continuous integration, infrastructure automation, um, the deployment automation, release strategies, um, architectural changes, because you'll have to incorporate some of the practices and tools into your organizations. You'll also have to start making the architectural changes, right? So sometimes you might 
you know, it might be about um, using serverless architectures, uh, maybe using microservices, breaking down monoliths into microservices and so on and so forth, right? And what is also important is making sure your team is ready for it. So scaling up the team is another important aspect as a technology leader that you need to be involved in. And if you're an individual, it's purely skills. It's the automation at every single level that you need to care about. Uh, there would be some collaboration and practices. A lot of that happens through the tools as well, including, let's say, uh, Jira and uh, Kanban. And uh, those are some of the methodologies. A lot of methodologies are also agile methodologies. So when you talk about individual practitioners, it's mostly about the new set of tools and skills that you need to acquire in order to get acquainted with DevOps. Now, what are those principles? What are the practices? And what are the tools? that are involved we're going to talk about it in the next videos mm -hmm.